So, I'm sure you all know, the mining update just came out. And there's a lot of new items that have been released. And that means one thing, prices are slightly all over the place at the moment. Which is good for some people and bad for others. We're looking at how we can benefit from this and basically make loads of coins from basically taking advantage of the new items. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to make some stonks. But before we dig into the video, if you do watch my videos and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so. We're almost at 1.6k. When the video comes out, we might already be at 1.6k. We're on the road to 2k. Let's just get there as quick as we can. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video. So, our first money making method is going to take us over to the bazaar. And if we head over to mining, as you can see, there's two new items. So, we've got hardstone and we've also got gemstones. So, for now, we're going to go on gemstones. And what we're going to be looking at is obviously things with decent profit margins. Now, what I would advise is probably flipping the, um, the ruby gemstones just because these are the most common. Most people are going to be getting these rather than any of the other ones just because they're the easiest to obtain. So what I recommend doing, I mean there's different methods for people at different stages in the game and depending on how long you've got actually to wait for things to sell and so on. But anyway, um, just the premise of the flip is basically this rough red ruby gemstone. We're going to go create by order, we're going to go, I don't know, we're going to go for 250. And then we're just going to go top order plus one. Um, so... As you can see, it's already fulfilled because there's so many people sort of obtaining these at the moment. And then it's literally just as simple as clicking on it, going create sell order and uh, best offer minus one. Now it'll take slightly longer for the sell order to actually complete, but nevertheless, these items are cheap. They are, I mean, they're always demanded at the moment because obviously there's loads of hype around the item. And yeah, um, we're going to make a good few K off this. Obviously, the idea behind this is if you do it in bulk, you're obviously going to make way more coins at once. So, our order has filled, and if we remember, we paid 4.75k, and we're getting 6k back in return. Um, so, if we were to up the ante on this order and do way more, so if we create a buy order for, I don't know, let's say 1,500, obviously, this is going to take a bit longer to fill, um, but it shouldn't take too long. So within pretty much seconds again, our order has filled, and uh, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of them. And uh, now it's just a case of doing exactly again and just selling them on. So if we go create sell order, plus one, and just wait for it to fill. Now, what I would recommend doing is basically doing this in bulk, leaving it five minutes and coming back, putting the order up for five minutes again. Like, it's that simple. Now, with a lot of bizarre flips, what I'd say is leave them on overnight and then come back to them. But at the moment in time, the prices of these are so volatile. They may increase, they may decrease. So if you do that, you actually may end up losing coins. But what I would say in this particular gemstone that we're flipping at the moment, um, because it's in so much demand, um, the price is sort of stabilised at that. I mean, yesterday it was up at like 300 coins when the update first came out. Um, but now the price is sort of stabilised. Now, as you can see, there is like... What's that, like a five coin difference? It's not a massive difference, but as you can see, the orders fill really quickly. You can do this in quantity because of the actual demand and supply for the item. So it's been around two to three minutes and our order has fully um, fulfilled. So um, we've got, well, that's like four, 34 and a half K from that. Bearing in mind that we spent 29 K on that. Um, we've made a decent bit of profit. What's that, like five to six K profit. Anyway, as you know, pretty much any gemstone with a decent margin um, is going to make you coins. The only reason why I'm recommending probably flipping maybe this one is because it's the most prominent on the market and it's the most common one that actually gets dropped. Therefore, the orders for sell uh, fill up way quicker. And if you do it in quantity, you can make a lot of coins. I've tried the orders with these two and they just don't fill. Anyway, in other news, in terms of uh, other new items that I've dropped, hardstone. Um, so, hardstone... Right there, there's a flip. There's like 800 coins flip, which is good in itself if you if you put a decent um, decent amount of actually orders up. Um, so that's perfectly fine. And I've tried this; it does work, um, and it is in a decent amount of supply. Uh, so you shouldn't have any problems getting these orders. But I think the big money maker would be is if you could actually craft this concentrated stone. If you get your hard stone collection up, you can make a lot of coins. Now, in order to get this concentrated stone, you need nine stacks of enchanted hard stone. So if we go ahead and create a buy order for 576, which is nine stacks, you can see it's going to cost you 5.75 million, let's say. And then you can literally sell it now. So you can sell it straight away for 6.1 million coins, making 400 and, well, about 400k. Or if you put an actual buy order up, you can be making almost a million coins per flip. Now, the downside to this is obviously the fact that you do have to have the collection, which is um, this one right here. Um, so you're going to need 300k hardstone collection. Um, 
People already have it because it's on the on the bazaar, but it's going to take a bit of grinding. Although I th would argue that it's probably worth it. If you can make a million coins per flip, then happy days. Anyway, that's enough for the bazaar. Um, you know pretty much everything that you can profit off from the new update. So um, yeah, that's out of the way. Now let's head over to the auction house. And what we're going to be looking at is this. Sludge juice. If we can get this, we can't get that. But that would have been a great snipe. So this sludge juice is basically dropped from slimes and... The price does vary a little bit, but I think the market value is around 6k when it actually evens out and people actually start buying the cheaper ones. Um, but what tends to happen is people just really don't understand the price of these things. So, you see a lot of people listing like 10 up for 500 coins like you saw a minute ago. So if you can be quick on the snipes, there's massive opportunity to make a lot of coins. Um, it's just like any AH flipping, it's sort of down to luck and being in the right place at the right time. Now if you aren't aware of what this item actually does or is used for, basically you can craft it into the new drill that came out with the actual update. Now sometimes it's just worth sort of scrolling through the pages, because sometimes you can pick up some really good deals in bulk where people are just basically listen for way too cheap. Um, so just have a flick through and see if you see any that just don't really add up in terms of price. Like this right here. Um, that's a very good snipe to be honest, but the thing is is that you probably are going to list, have to list them um, individually to make a lot of profit. And obviously that would become a little bit time consuming. So yeah, anyway, just filter through these and eventually you'll see some coming up at the start. Hopefully I can find one soon. Something else that might actually be worth doing is looking on the bids. So as you can see here, there's 24 ending in 26 minutes. There's 9 ending for 500 coins in 8 minutes. Um, so all of these are pretty, pretty much pretty good just to pick up alternatively to be honest you could literally just go into the actual mines yourself and just grind the slimes for five minutes and probably get close to a stack and that's a very nice method as well but anyway that is going to be just about the end of the video now i understand that in this video i, pr I didn't actually make the coins so you couldn't actually see me making the coins other than with the bizarre flips um but the bizarre flips you need to do in quantity which is perfectly fine because that bizarre flip in particular will not take long to fill and in terms of the AH flip for the sludge juice, it's just literally down to luck. Like, I went on the AH before and there was loads of snipes at the front. Um, I went on then and there was literally none coming up. But yeah, like I said, as always, that is pretty much just down to being in the right place at the right time. But yeah, anyway, like I said, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.